Jose Automotive Reviews. Today, we're going to talk about the production grill design for the 2021 Wild Track Ford Bronco. And the 2021 Wild Track Ford Bronco model will go in production with a Badland grill design, which had initially been unique to the Badland model. While Wild Track and the Badlands will share the same grill design, the grills will each have different finishes. The original image of the Wild Track has shown it with the big bend in the Outer Banks grill design. The new grill design can be seen on the Wild Track photograph in Bronco Nation with the incoming Ford CEO, Jim Farley. You can also get an up close look at the grill design on the 2021 Badland Ford Bronco that was present at the Super Celebration West last month. Bronco, the 2021 Bronco, is just an awesome, awesome SUV. Let's look at some of the, um, before we get into that, let's look at some of the exclusive interviews that we have with the incoming uh, Ford CEO, Jim Farley. Now, this was done by Bronco Nation. And uh, Jordan Parker. Now, Bronco Nation spoke exclusively with the incoming uh, Ford CEO, Jim Farley, on the Friday at the Michigan Assembly Plant, where the first early pre production 2021 Ford Bronco had begun to roll off the assembly line. As an avid collector of historic Ford vehicles and the owner of the Generation 1 Ford Bronco, Himself, Farley has had an affinity for the iconic nameplate. Now it is the sixth generation. When asked about his initial impression of the rapid red wild track Bronco adjacent to him during the interview, he said, it's a breakthrough product for Ford. We're finally getting back to our roots and I'm so proud of the team. Farley went on to speak to the daily usability of the vehicle beyond its off-road proudness. It's really a terrific vehicle because it has all the off-road capability that almost no one else has, but it has the daily use and thoughtfulness of an open-air experience without leaving everything in your garage. That's no one else can match. It's a breakthrough product. Years of work have gone into this new Bronco. With many iterations, design changes, hurdles, and victories, when we asked the incoming CEO that attribute of feature he's the most proud of on the Bronco, he said, for me, some people love the design, of course. But for me, it's the off-road equipment. Bronco's real capability. We have better approach and departure angles. You know that. What I love the most about the vehicle is its capability. It's not a show horse. That is certainly a statement that rings true through the rigorous durability testing. We have witnessed from Johnson Valley to the Moabi. This vehicle is an off-road monster. With the recent news regarding the Bronco paint colors, we'd be remiss if we didn't ask Farley what color he plans to order. While he hasn't decided a specific color quite yet, he did say, it's got to be blue. We certainly can see why he's a fan of blue. The Ford veteran starting his tenure at Ford back in November 2007 after leaving Toyota and has since served in many capacities, both in the U.S. and abroad. Most recently as the Chief Operating Officer, Farley will assume his new role as the Chief Executive Officer of the Blue Oval, which was this past October the 1st. 
entering at a critical and exciting time for the auto manufacturer. We look forward to speaking with Mr. Farley again soon as we move one week closer to the um, Bronco hitting uh, the dealer lots across America eventually, which will be a while, be next year when they start hitting the dealer's lots. Ford Bronco. It's just at the top of his game, folks. And back to the uh, to the grill. Now the production wild track in the Badlands Bronco will share the grill, but it's going to be in different finishes. Um, and right here before us, we just have the one finish. Now, let's look back at the specs and visit the specs a little bit. Now, you're talking about two-door and four-door seatings. Transmission, automatic, 10-speed. We're talking about a starting price for the Bronco Wild Track being $46,980. We're talking about 310 horsepower. And the key features is the 2.7 liter EcoBoost engine. Now the available 2.7 liter EcoBoost engine is projected to produce a best in class 310 gas horsepower and 400 pound feet of torque. Now as far as exterior features, we're talking about as far as appearance, Talking about the manual swing ease with 150 uh, degree swing. We're talking about the back door, folks. Flip up rear glass, removable door and top, modular hard top shadow black paint, door handles molded in color black, and then the black color painted side view mirror caps. Daytime running lamps, the DRL configurable, LED signature lighting, and LED fog lamps. And then you have that active grill shutter. Now the grill is a carbonized gray with a white Brungo badge. The mirror side view, the power glass, and the uh, manual four black finish. The mirror side view, the heated glass. You got the bash plates, you have the tow hooks. You have the two front and run wear as far as tow hooks. And you also have the bottle opener. You're gonna need that, folks, when you're tailgating, relaxing with your loved one and your friends. You're gonna need that beer. Just pop open that soda or beer, whatever you have. You just relax. You also have the optional dual tops: the modular hard top, shadow black paint, uh, the black soft top for the four door only. And then we have the tube step, the powder coated, and the heavy duty modular front bumper. Uh, the brush guard. It requires the heavy duty modular front bumper. Now, as far as the windows and glass, you have the standard privacy glass, then the second row side, and the flip up glass. Now, the front variable intermittent continuous wiper washer, and the rear has a single speed intermittent continuous wiper washer. When it says inter intermittent, which means that there's a pause or delay. When it's just drizzling, you still have the, you know, it'd still be nice to have that. Everybody says, da, we know this. But oh well, I'll share it anyway. Now, as far as the interior features, you have the dual, dual zone electronic automatic temperature control. And then you have the comfort and convenient, which you have the intelligent assess and push button start. You know, everybody knows what that is. Remote start system. Starting the car with your remote. Now the remote start system works like this. It also works on your phone. Now whatever season or whatever your outdoor activities take you, the Bronco interior can always be waiting for you with perfect temperature. Now the available remote system lets you do it simply with the press 
of your key fob or you can use your phone which means you don't have to be around you can be miles away but you got to have wi-fi though and then you can use the phone if you have a cena you can actually start your bronco from anywhere and then you also have the 110 volt the 150 watt ac outlet in the back and the side of the center floor console now this available outlet can help the electronic devices powered as well as the other electronic, electronic equipment like an air compressor or a portable refrigerator quite nice great feature to have and again you have the leather wrapped steering wheel and the bronco badge and the cruise and the audio controls and the durability meets the great looks here it's available leather wrapped steering and it also has a leather wrap on the gear shift knob and then you have the front Roll center floor console armrest, glove box, and the media bin, and the overhead console with the sunglass storage. And again, folks, back to this um, back to this uh, production grill design for the 2021. Again, this is an awesome design, folks. It's very, very retro looking. And with that winch, it's definitely, definitely nice. There you hear you have the worn wrench, which is a great, great feature. And you may need that sometime to pull somebody out of a big mess. Just to have it while you're out there and enjoying this, the, your rugged adventure. The 2021 Wild Track Ford Bronco, the Badland Grill design, which had initially been unique to the Badlands model. While Wild Track and the Badlands will share the same grill design, the grills will each have different finishes. You have the original image on the Wild Track as shown with the Big Ben and the Otter Banks grill. This is a beautiful design, folks. Definitely awesome, folks. This is A Automotive Reviews. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, like, share, and subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more interesting videos.